Hi everyone. Okay, so we're talking about using what we have. Now, this is a very old little plastic resin. It's biodegradable um, resin big planter. Um, it was an ugly color, kind of like a faux terracotta. I've had it for t over 20 years. I've had it at the other house, this house, and then I gave it to my dad. We've had tomatoes in it, you name it. So I put some rocks in here, um, the ugly river rocks, the ones I didn't like, and because there's holes at the bottom. Now this thing is like really breaking apart, as you can see, but I don't care. This is like perfect. Um, I asked my dad to bring by like a planter for my fig tree because um, I had it in this big pot here just in its original pot and <clears throat> it wasn't doing so good because it's not getting enough sun then I put it over there and it was getting more sun because like four figs fell off of it and I'm like oh no I don't want that so every sorry guys I'm trying I know that it's like looks dusty there and everywhere but if I can't get it with my broom, I'm trying not to use water because we're in such a major drought. So kind of is what it is. But <laughs> anyway, so that's the fig tree. I splurged a little and got my dad a fig tree. And I didn't expect to get myself one, but I wasn't sure what kind of a fig tree he wanted. So I already had all of the fertilizers and potting mix so I gave him some I even still have um, another one a full one so this will probably fill it I have another bag in the backyard and then that one so I'm good and this particular one because I think it's a Turkish fig <clears throat> um, so when my dad picked the one he wanted I just kept the other one because I thought, you know, I wasn't going to, but oops, it's kind of nice to have like another fruit tree here and I can make a lot of preserves. So this is called the uh, Caribbean Dreams Subtropical Fruit Tree. So it's, yeah, Turkish fig right there. And I think it was, uh, tw yeah, $29.98. So that was a bit of a splurge for me. There's only one little fig left. So I don't think, all these cobwebs, I don't think it's gonna be very productive uh, fall for it, but it has like some nice new leaves. Sorry, you could see all the ash on here from the fires. And then there's some cobwebs too, but it's mainly the ash. You could see that ashy finish. So I'm gonna transplant it and it likes sandy soil. So I just moved it forward, but it'll go back there. And why I wanted something temporary like this is so, because I knew I, I my dad just read my mind. Um, I told him what I needed and um, I thought, well, I just want to break it apart at some point so I can plant it in the ground in the fall to winter time. So this is perfect. So I was sitting here, I painted it, it's still wet, so what I'm going to do is just put the potting mixes in there. And I have all this cardboard from all my cat deliveries. <laughs> and then look at here are my insulated planter boxes for the kitties, and I put cushions on top. I have my um, the plug over there for my phone, but um, they're insulated, and they're out of the you know, weather and um, when I, when it is really heavy winds and raining, I will cover them with like a flap of fabric so that the cats can go in there. Anyways, we're talking about this tree here and I did splurge for my birthday, but I can't, I hope it really survives and I'm just using what I have. So you can see how brittle this is see so I can easily like bust it open and then plant it because I didn't want to put it in there which it was in there in its original container and I just it's too hard to move and 
probably dig out. So this will be better and I'll recycle the plastic, the resin. So let me get started. I've got the rocks in place and I'm gonna start adding that and I'll show you the progress. All right, so I have it in place over here where I need it because that's where it gets the morning sun and that's perfect. I got a little bit of dirt everywhere. <laughs> so I need to deadhead this little pot here and that shrub needs to go, but I've been slowly but surely like breaking it down. Um, it basically died off and only the top is surviving. So I don't want this beautiful fig to die. So I'm going to transplant it right now and hopefully it survives, but it has a year warranty and I've done everything that I can for it, everything that they said to do for it. So hopefully it'll survive. Let me put it in there. Okay, so I got it planted and from afar you really don't notice it. I'm going to hose down this, well, actually I'm not going to hose it down, I'm going to sweep it down. <laughs> And you only, as you can see, you don't even notice it. That it's all broken, the pot or anything. So it's really great and I'm super happy and I hope it survives because it does like the morning um, light. These leaves are so much more vibrant than the ones down here. So we will keep an eye on it, but let me sweep it up and you can see. Okay, so there it is. <sighs> <laughs> it looks nice um, probably doesn't look so nice from here because everything really does need to be hosed down but it is what it is and I got it transplanted you can't see the cracked side of it so it's only going to be till the fall maybe winter when I transplant it um, maybe even early spring just because I'm not really even sure where I'm going to put it but it looks so pretty Poor little fig. <laughs> so it kind of just blends in with the other things that I have, um, which are white and taupe. So I did deadhead a little bit on that plant. And I did tear down some of the cobwebs with my broom. So I hope it's going to be happy. Anyways, you have to be careful, I want to mention, when you put rocks around the base of your planter's or root ball or whatever because um, it is decorative <laughs> excuse me I've got the hiccups um, I do feel like it detr when you put river rocks all lined up and makes it pretty it detracts from the ugly planter however it can heat up the root very quickly but um, I think because it's morning sun it'll be fine and you'll notice that I have Mexican river pebbles in my backyard like in the planters also because it gets dapple lighting so it's fine but for those of you that live like in Arizona or New Mexico you might want to refrain from doing this especially <laughs> if you're in the full sun but I get full sun all the time as well but this is the morning sun because it's a covered porch I think it looks pretty good um, I need to really hose this front porch down but I can't it's just not allowed right now but I like it and I hope it produces so you see that lattice over there so I'm gonna be hanging it here I've been trying for a while but I've realized that I just have to get some plumber's pipe and drill it into the stucco and wood. And that'll give me some privacy, um, extra shade, dapple sun in the morning sun, you know, so that'll even be better for it. And that, like I said, this is just temporary, but for something that I had already and I only spent, well, less than a dollar, because I used Dollar Tree acrylic paint to just loosely paint it. So, it's all good. But, um, anyway, so it looks fine. But, um, I'm going to end it here. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All wet. Sorry, I had to go inside because the neighbor 
the kid came out <laughs> with his shirt off. I didn't want to expose him. <laughs> Anyways, I think it looks good. I'm going to go inside and recap. All right, that's it, guys. I guess the moral of the story is use what you have. Um, and... And don't have to feel like you have to buy anything. Um, yeah, this really does need to be hosed down. And my cat, the, the one cat that I rescued with the... Hey! Hey, excuse me. Oh, you're so cute, baby. He has to say hello. And he's saying, can you please clean your screen? Because it looks really dirty. And I can't look at it. Bebe! Hey! Bebe! How are you, Bebe? Oh, oh, Bebe? You're so delicious. Yeah, you're so cute. What's on your paw? <laughs> I think he has a piece of, <laughs> like, carpet on the <laughs> other end. Okay, anyways, guys. Okay, so it looks good. And that's what it is. You just use what you have, and, and it's going to be temporary, so I still want it to look pretty. And come fall, you know, it's going to be Halloween, and I'm going to be sitting out here, so I'll probably be putting this in the backyard. Um, maybe. We'll see. A lot of things will be changing, like the front yard, anyways, all of this. Okay, guys, I hope this inspires you to use what you have. I just took a dollar's worth of um, acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree to repaint that ugly pot and I already had the river rock, I already had the potting soil, I still have a whole bag of potting soil so that was good and um, that's pretty much it so I hope this you know inspires you just don't look at all the dirt and debris because I tried to brush it off with a broom, but it really needs to be hosed off. But we're not supposed to. Okay, let's hope he grows. Bye, guys.